This is a video to show how to get rid of skin tags in just a couple days by tying them off with a piece of thread. And uh, you tie them off, you do that in the evening, you know, by the morning they'll turn black. And after about three days, maybe four at the most, it just falls off. And the string and the skin tag just falls off. First I'm gonna show how to tie the knot. You gotta have a non-slip knot. I'm going to use a piece of rope because it's too hard to see on the thread and you just take that rope and you lay that on top like that you make a loop with this on top and you make another loop the same way and you slip that one under the bottom. Okay, I'll demonstrate this on a broom handle. This is called a clove hitch. You put that on and you just pull it tight and that will not slip. This clove hitch, if you ever saw the old movies where the cowboys tie their horse up to the hitching post, that's the clove hitch they're using. They tie it in a different manner, but it it's ends up the, the same as a clove hitch. Now, since I don't have enough hands to demonstrate how to do this on myself, I've, I've made a fake skin tag out of putty, you know, show how to do it. It really helps if you have a second person to, one person to hold the skin tag up because you want to get this down at the very base. You one person to hold it up with a pair of tweezers, but you can do it yourself. Okay, you, you put that clove hitch on the tweezers like that, and then you, it keeps falling off of course. And you put that down and you pull the skin tag up and you slide the knot down. And that's where it comes in handy if you've got another person. And then you slowly tighten that up and make sure it's down at the base. And before you do that, you want to clean the area and your tweezers with alcohol because you might do some damage to the skin and then that, that could get infected if it wouldn't matter if the is tied off because it's going to die anyway. But if you, for some reason, your knot slips or you don't quite get it right, you've done some damage to that thing and you don't want it uh, infected. So unless I get the knot on, it probably won't slip, but just as a precaution, I always take a little uh, liquid liquid bandage, or you can use nail polish or something like that, and I put that right on the knot where it crosses, and let that dry. It just takes, you know, 30 seconds to dry, and that way I know it's not going to come loose. And then I cut off the extra thread. And if it happens to be in an area that's visible, you can put a little round bandage over it for several days. But, uh, and that's about it. Okay, if, you're, if you don't have anyone to help you, here's another way you can do it. These are locking, like tweezers, but they lock. They have this little lock here. And so you can, okay, then you take these locking tweezers and then you put the clove hitch over them like that. And then you reach up and you lock on to the skin tag. You bend over to the position so these hang vertically and pulls the skin tag away. And then you slide that up and tie it off. Okay, I've made a model there of some a glue guns, how this thing hangs down. You slide your your knot up. You want to get it as far up there as you can. And tighten it up. 
and then you're done.